Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. As you can see, we got our countertop, single basin sink here that we picked up off of the discount table at the plumber supply store. And because it was a floor model, it doesn't have a template for undermounting the sink. It's actually not even an undermount sink. We're just gonna undermount it because we're like that. What I'm doing is I have to make a template of the sink. So basically what I did is I took a large piece of paper laid it over the sink and taped it down so it didn't move and then took a crayon with the paper off and just kind of rubbed the crayon along the edge of the sink. Never done this before, just trying it out for the first time. Hopefully it works good. I'll show you the process. What are you doing under there? Just catching the hole. <laughs> <laughs> catching the hole. Good job, hon. Thank you. You rocked that hole. All right, my friend, so I'm out doing some run around today to figure out what we're gonna do about some of these finishing touches. So two of the things that I'm trying to accomplish today. First one is hot water heater venting. Apparently, every brand of tankless water heater has its own ducting system that it requires and my our our water heater that we bought requires stainless steel double walled venting system and it's going to cost like $180 just for the venting system for the water heater <laughs> like i didn't even I, I i didn't even know i had no idea so yeah, so there's that, and then um, paint. So I budgeted like 250 bucks for exterior paint. I went to an auto body spot place. They quoted me about a thousand dollars for the paint, and I just got done at this auto body shop to ask them what they would that what they would charge to paint it, and they quoted me 4,500 dollars. So I know there's lots of resources online. I just gotta jump on and see what other people are using and what they're doing. Unfortunately, I think that's gonna pigeonhole us into a color that we're not wild about. Um, but yeah, kind of a frustrating day of runaround, to be honest. I just wanna get these things wrapped up so that we can be done. And it just seems like every corner there's a little bit of a hiccup. So anyway, Gonna keep working and uh, keep sourcing these things. I'm gonna order my $180 venting system. I know those things have to be vented correctly. I know that, um, and that's really, really important. So, anyway, we'll keep going. So we undermounted our sink, but it's not an undermount sink. We found a super killer deal on it um, and picked it up, but we knew we wanted undermount. So we just, we took an overmount sink and just uh, undermounted it. So I drilled holes in the, in the side of the sink where we screwed, we liquid nailed it. So I've got about six screws in it and liquid nails all the way around the rim. And now we have this nice finished 
undermount sink. Love it! Okay, my friends, I am like 90% sure that every single one of our window cavities has a wasp's nest in it. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do, but these guys keep coming out looking like they're unthawing from the winter. And every window has these holes in the side panel or in the frame. And I've seen one or two of them crawl in and out of there. So what in the world are we supposed to do? Tell me, I'm scared. So we bought these baskets at Target. Um, we liked them because we're doing a lot of copper accents and they have the copper handles. So they'll go well with all of the other kind of copper accents that we're doing. And uh, they're pretty sturdy, pretty good baskets. And what I did is I took copper piping. I just simply drilled self-tapping tapping screw through each end, put a cap on each end, ran it through the basket, and then screwed it into the, the running one by ones that we have running up and down the whole side of the bus. So what we're thinking is like, these will be fruit baskets, they'll be uh, you know soap, detergent baskets, all of that kind of stuff because it's right above the sink. Yeah, this is also sweet. I'm very, very excited about. We, we saved our sink cutout so that it fulfilled the space for the undermount sink. So another thing um, about our bus is we wanted to make sure, as we looked at a bunch of other buses, one thing that we really loved is how when people left kind of the head space open in their bus, meaning not a lot of like upper cabinets and things kind of encroaching in on the space. We just loved the open space up in the front. So we wanted to kind of preserve the open space up front as much as we possibly could. Um, which we've done successfully, but storage and shelves and all that kind of stuff is obviously an issue um, Because you want some of that stuff to put things on so let us know your thoughts Let us I'm still like I'm still like 80 20 on them like 80% liking them 20% like I don't know if I like them I think Katie's even less liking them. What do you think? I don't know I think they're good, <laughs> but I'm, I'm Larry. She's Larry. So this is getting really exciting. Sorry if all this is very boring to you for details, but details are like my thing. I love details. So like all this general construction stuff has been killing me. And now I get to really like thrive in the details. I just wanna show you like this is the, the built-in spice rack that I've been working on. I mean, since we started framing, obviously, because I had to frame it into the wall uh, with the penny tile background and the copper piping uh, shelves to keep this stuff in. This is awesome. I'm so excited about this. I love how those colors are coming together with the wood countertop the copper railings and the tile and, and the white is awesome. And here's our baskets to kind of match. Woo! Details, love them. Boom, baby. There's a screw there. No. <gasps> Crap. We can go to this side now. We can just take um kitchen sink off, off our kitchen sink, out of our the house and we already have our kitchen sink in here. Yeah. Got it. Away. You got it. Yoo-hoo! Oh, that's where my coffee mug's gonna live. We'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you get me picking my nose? Always. <laughs> Kenya, get off the roof. We don't play on the roof. We don't play on the roof. Only when mom does. Only, only mom and dad play on the roof. Right? All right, my friends, quick backstory here. So we've been looking at having cushions made for this bench here, and we had no idea how expensive it was <laughs> to have custom cushions made, cushions made especially that long. How long is the bench? 77 inches. The bench is 77 inches because it folds into a bed, and we wanted to make sure that it was a big enough bed for anybody that visited. Um, we could make our beds nice and short because we're short people, but... Uh, we wanted that to be available for anybody who wouldn't be that short. So anyway, it's been crazy finding cushions. So, Katie 
has taken on the challenge of making our own cushions for this bench. How's it going? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm cutting this at an angle so far. <laughs> oh, good. This is a serrated kitchen knife. A serrated kitchen knife to the foam. We got this foam off of I off of Amazon. Uh, we'll link it below. It's actually incredibly cheap, um, and it's great foam. I mean, as far as we know so far, it feels good, and we're connoisseurs of foam for sure. I sit on it, and it doesn't hurt. We know all the finest foams. We were super happy to find that. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Hi, Katie. So today we are out looking for tow vehicles. So vehicles that we can tow behind the bus. We've got to trade in that monster, our giant van, for something like this. That the bus will easily tow, that we can disengage everything on it, and we can tow it with four wheels on the ground. I mean, we could tow the van, then we'd have two buses. <laughs> we could tow the van, we could tow a bus with our bus, but we'd rather have something a little bit smaller and a little bit more adventure worthy, so that we can park the bus and sure. jump in our adventure mobile. A couple of things we're looking for is a good vehicle that you can like disengage everything so we can tow four wheel down. We're also looking for like racks and stuff like that because kayaks and paddle boards and all that kind of stuff need to go on something before we build our rack on the bus. And they have this and you cranking can, yeah. window. What kind of car can you still get a cranking window in, right? We're all about the old school. Win win. No, say the the whole thing. Well, win win. Well, we got what we wanted. Win win. <laughs> we got what we wanted. He got what he wanted. Win win. <laughs> well, we got what we wanted. It's win win. Well, we did it. Woo! <laughs> Katie's been talking about a get about getting a Jeep. We used to have a Jeep Wrangler. And ever since about we got rid of that. Five years ago. Ever since we got rid of it, she's been talking about it. Here we are again. We got our Jeep. Why is it a win win, Mike? Because he got what he wanted and we got what we wanted. So we traded in the big transit van that we had that was our adventure vehicle, which is kind of sad. A little sad. I'm we, glad we took it to starvation yesterday. As you can hear, this is a soft top Jeep. So. <laughs> Makes a little bit of noise, um, but it'll be good for towing. The other cool thing is, the first place we stopped at to look at Jeeps, we, it was just a good deal. We felt good about it, so we went for it. And second, he had a thousand dollar towing package for it that he just gave to us on top. And he also threw in a rack over the top, over the roof. But I think it was a great deal all in all. Yes. Got our Jeep! Well, it's a win-win. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Hey, everybody, we wanted to end this video with a quick update about how everything is going. So the bus is going great. We're getting a lot of the finished touches in, as you could see through this video. Kitchen is coming together. There's just a few things left that we need to do. We still need to put in our two gray water tanks. We're gonna have two, one for the bathtub and one for the kitchen sink. Then finally, finally is painting the outside of the bus, which we still, <laughs> don't make that face. <laughs> which we still need to figure out what we're actually doing. We're not thrilled by a lot of the options, a lot of the paint options there are out there. Um, I know a lot of people have gone with like a Rust-Oleum primer top coats thing, but you're limited to four colors, which are black, white, gray, and red, or, or yellow, caution yellow, we could keep it yellow. And uh, we want like a teal, aqua, mint, something like that. So we really are trying to explore as many paint options as we can find, but we need to have this thing painted with, there's a big old bug flying around. <laughs> So we really need to have this thing painted within a week. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're gonna meet our goal. So we have a goal of June 10th to pull away. And uh, one other exciting thing that happened today. We bought a Jeep! We bought a Jeep. We, uh, we've had, we've had the, in the back of our minds, we needed to change out our vehicle situation so that we had a good vehicle for towing. 
and Katie's always wanted a Jeep Wrangler. We used to have one, and uh, ever since we sold that, she's been mad at me. So now I'm a good husband again because we got a Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> I find on Jeeps. We just wanted to do this kind of formally, really quick, and talk about like within really within the next week to week and a half, we should be ready to roll and and hit the road, and it's really really exciting. So then we can start talking about routes and destinations and showing you some of our adventures. Um, what life actually looks like living yeah. in this guy. We'll let you know how much we hate living in a bus. <laughs> it's all fun and games Wouldn't... until you're actually living in it. Wouldn't that be hilarious if we just uh, absolutely hated living in it? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we are so grateful for everybody watching. Our channel is growing rapidly. I mean, to us at least. Um, I mean, we're getting like 10 to 15 new subscribers a day, which is pretty phenomenal. It's awesome. People are kind of watching and, and messaging us and telling us that they like what we're producing, and that's what we really want to do. We want to produce stuff that's valuable, that's entertaining, and all of that kind of stuff. So if there's anything you want to see, we also are going to start doing some live uh, Q&As or AMAs. Um, where you can just ask us questions about build, uh, schooly build, schooly life, what we're gonna do for school, what we're gonna do for work, what we're gonna, you know, one of the most popular questions we get is how much, how do we, how we're gonna make money on the road. Um, so we're open to any of those questions, and we'll start doing those live on YouTube as well. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Katie just reminded me, we didn't say love always adventure often. You ready? Ready. One, two, three. Love, Love always, always adventure, adventure often. often. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.